What does Jesus' death and resurrection mean for all of us? The death and resurrection of Jesus is at the very center of God's master plan. If Jesus is the key to the master plan, then his death and resurrection is what in fact turns that key. Jesus' death conquered sin. It removed the barrier to God's glory. Jesus' resurrection has opened the way for everlasting life in God's glory. His death means that we are also called to die to ourselves, to die to our own sin. His resurrection means that we can be raised, raised to a new life, a life in Christ, powered by God, where He conquers our sins. Paul says the following in Philippians chapter 1, If we have been united with Him in His death, we will certainly also be united with Him in His resurrection. For we know that our old self was crucified with Him, so that the body of sin might be done away with, that we should no longer be slaves to sin, because anyone who has died has been freed from sin. Now if we have died with Christ, we believe that we will also live with Him. For we know that since Christ was raised from the dead, He cannot die again. Death no longer has mastery over Him. The death He died, He died to sin once for all. But the life He lives, He lives to God. In the same way, count yourselves dead to sin, but alive to God in Christ Jesus. So by connecting ourselves to the death and resurrection of Jesus, we get forgiveness of our sins and are raised to live a new life powered by the Holy Spirit. But there is more. As Paul says in 1 Corinthians in chapter 15, if it is in this life only that we have hope in Christ, we are of all men most miserable. But it is the resurrection that we have hope in the life to come. It is in the fact that Jesus was raised. Paul goes on to say, But now Christ is risen from the dead and has become the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. And we are the harvest. The resurrection of Jesus has opened the way for the physical resurrection of all those who have believed in him. This hope of the resurrection stands at the center of the gospel message. It is the foundation of our faith. If Christ is not raised, our faith is in vain.